Welcome to the Resource Recovery and Innovation Centre where we do all of our testing for new technologies for wastewater. What we've got here is the ability to trial new technologies on a, on a bespoke test pad. It's the only one in the UK. It allows us to test things at scale, so for sort of up to 2,000 population equivalent flow sheets. Across the UK at the moment, we're, we're in a new asset management plan. And part of that planning process for the Environment Agency has been to improve river quality. And what we're being asked to do as water companies is achieve ever tighter ammonia standards. So for, for this particular site here in Redditch, we're going from a, a consent standard, which is 10 milligrams per litre of ammonia in the winter and five in the summer, to a three milligram per litre all year standard. Typically, our approach to, to delivering ever tighter ammonia standards would be to build more concrete tanks. Building concrete tanks locks us into a solution for not just 10 or 15 years, but in our case, probably 20, 30 and even 40 years. What MABR is helping us do is be a bit more nimble, I think, in terms of the choices that we make and much more cost efficient from a TOTEX perspective, because not only have we got that, that cheap retrofit ability, we've also got that opportunity to deliver the oxygen that we need to remove the ammonia much more efficiently. What we've been doing today is having a look at um, the way that we lift and drop in the membrane modules um, so that our engineering colleagues are designing a solution for other sites you can just see how simple it is. I'm Steve Pitt, I'm the Innovation Centre Manager here at Seven Trent Water in Redditch Spurnell. So we've got some of the other teams here where um, they're looking at rolling out onto the other sites. So they're here to look at that from the engineering team to see what's happened over the 12 months in terms of a maintenance dragging point of view. We've had an operational experience through the whole of, of the years and all of the seasons and what we found is that it's very robust. We found that the treatment is um, reliable and it deals with peak loadings coming through the system. It's dealt with all sorts of upstream problems and, and what we are advising our, the rest of the business now is that this is a, a great technology where you need to intensify an existing activated sludge plant. It's been really, really successful. It all went in a live process, so it's really beneficial, so there's no uh, detrimental impact at all. So it's a certainly, uh, we certainly recommend it. The process matured within a few weeks, which is really good. It's comparing with the other lanes without the process in. Um, it's far more robust, and uh, we get much better ammonia removal, basically. So it's we had very little operational requirements either over the 12 months, which is really important. Operators have noticed an improvement as well in site performance. So I think it's um, just given us more robust treatment in this lane, basically. I'm absolutely amazed, I've got to say, at how, how little rag and accumulation of sort of non-biofilm material there are in those modules. Managing screenings is always a challenge on a sewage works and you would expect some to be getting through the system, but there's certainly, from the evidence of this one module, we've not seen anything gathering in that. So innovation is really important because going forward we'll have tighter permits, more environmental considerations, we have to look at our uh, carbon footprint and recovery of uh, the resources, some of the sewage as well, so because of the ever tightening permits we need to look at more novel ways of doing that, being more energy efficient and carbon efficient as well. So one of the trials we're looking at here is a low energy uh, option for nitrification. Based on what we've seen over the 12 months we would certainly recommend it to anyone uh, for rollout on their site. So the outcomes of this trial is we're now advising our engineering and our operational colleagues that this is a, a, a perfect technology to use as a, a retrofit option where we need to extend capacity at activated sludge plants.